you know, making films is hard. And and there was a there's a 60 minutes um, a section segment with George Lucas and Francis Ford Coppola, and Francis has for years been you know uh, uh, telling about the idea that one day technology is going to be good that you're going to have to uh, you're going to be able to carry around a camera in an editing facility in a briefcase and and it's going to be available to the masses and only truly then will you have you know true cinema because you'll have some genius Picasso like girl in you know in Iowa or something who will who will create this great film. You know, and we are at that place right now. I mean, it's here. Mm -hmm. and, and so they asked George, is that going to happen? And he said, no. <laughs> I said, why? Because film is hard. And it is. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the guys that were my troopers in, uh, in, in Troops uh, do a, a movie, uh, a, an offshoot called Imps, which initially was called Troops 2, uh, which I gave my blessing to. And uh, they changed it, I think, probably for the better, because if it had been Troops 2, even though I hadn't been associated with it, they would have, it, people would have associated me with it, and they would not get the credit that is deserving of them. And that having been said, they have only been able to produce one, it's a good piece, but they produced one piece in 10 years. Film is hard. And so when, you know, when people, you know, go out, set about to do a fan film, I, I don't like half-ass. There's a lot of half-ass, you know. Or people that, it hurts you because they stop short on one thing, usually the acting. You know, it's like, if you're going to pour so much money into it, my thing is always when people say, oh, God, I want to make a Star Wars film. I say, why would you want to make a Star Wars film? I mean, if you do, God love you. And go out and do it. Don't let, don't let me tell you no. But if you're going to, film is hard. If you're going to put so much work into that kind of thing and not really end up owning it, wouldn't it be nicer, you know, and, and needed that people do their own stuff, you know? Because you're not going to get anything original out of Hollywood. They're busy making Young Frankenstein for the 30th time or Invasion of the Body Snatchers for the fifth time. You know, here's where the original stuff is going to come from. So if you have all that freedom to do anything, don't limit yourself to somebody else's work. I know it's like people say, well, sure, you can say that. Cause you can do, but yeah, I had the benefit. I mean, anything that I've gotten is simply from the benefit and the, and the luck of being the first guy to do it. And I wasn't even the first guy. When they initially had the Star Wars fan films, it was like, you can't do a serious piece which I think was really wise, because you know what? You can't do a serious piece. I couldn't do a serious piece. So the only person that can do a serious piece, in my opinion, is George. Now, whether he does that successfully is, is up for debate amongst many people, you know. But uh, for, for other people to attempt it in a fan film genre, I think is complete hubris. Now, that's not to say you shouldn't try, because if you can and you've succeeded, God bless you.